The Windows Security Center service is crucial for monitoring your system security settings. If the service fails to start, it may leave your system vulnerable. Here's how to resolve the issue. Solution one, check and configure the Security Center service start by ensuring that the Security Center service is correctly configured. Open the Run dialog by pressing Windows plus R, type services.msc, and press Enter. Find the Security Center service in the list, right-click it, and select Properties. Set the startup type to automatic and click Start if the service is stopped. Save your changes by clicking Apply and OK. This ensures the service is set to run whenever your computer starts. Solution 2. Adjust Log On Settings Sometimes the issue lies with the service's logon credentials. In the Security Center Properties window, go to the Logon tab. Select Local Service and confirm the settings. This step ensures the service has the appropriate permissions to operate on your system. Solution 3. Repair Windows Management Instrumentation WMI. The Security Center relies on the WMI service. Open the Services panel again, find Windows Management Instrumentation, and ensure its startup type is set to automatic. Start the service if it is not running, then save your changes. A properly functioning WMI service supports the Security Center's operations. Solution 4. Run the System File Checker Corrupted System Files might be interfering with the Security Center. Open Command Prompt as an administrator and run the command SFC slash SCANNOW. This utility will scan and repair any damaged system files. Once the process is complete, restart your computer to apply the fixes. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue and restore the Windows Security Center service to full functionality. If the problem persists, consider performing a clean boot or reinstalling Windows as a last resort.